this video, I'm going to talk to you about something you want to be aware of, okay? You may be not experiencing it, or you're wondering why you're not really feeling the groove when it comes to your recovery. A lot of us get discouraged in our recovery, really do, and even in long-term recovery. Do you ever feel like this whole recovery business is like a full-time job? You know, you're going to your medical doctor, talking about your health, getting your liver checked out, making sure your enzymes and your blood are okay. You go there, you talk to a counselor about family problems, childhood issues, trying to work out all these issues that you can't get figured out in your 12-step program or whatever program you're in. And you call people up every day and you talk about your woes and your recovery, or you're carrying the message, just overwhelmed, overloaded with the recovery life. It's like a full-time job and it's driving you, maybe driving you to get a little discouraged in your program. And to pile something else on top of all this stuff that's going on in your life and your recovery, you're just not feeling it. You're not feeling that you're moving forward in your recovery. And if you can identify with this video or what I've just said, because I know I can, because early recovery, recovery was a full-time job. It really was. And some days I just got up and I would feel depressed and I feel that ah, I'm sick of this recovery. You are experiencing something. It's like a phenomenon or something that happens to people in recovery because there's a lot, a lot of moving parts in early recovery. You know, we're talking, we could talk about everything in our lives because our lives are changing so dramatically and we want to feel more comfortable. What I'm talking about is something that they call recovery fatigue. It's actually a thing, believe it or not. It's basically when what happens, we have too much recovery in our lives. Our re recovery becomes our life. Like I work, I got family life, and then I got this big cloud over my head called recovery. And a lot of us feel overwhelmed and we feel tired and we feel fed up. And some people might just give up on the recovery because a lot of times the work that we put in doesn't equal the benefits we're getting out. And that's where some of this fatigue comes from, is because the result, you know? Recovery is like that. It's almost like, you know, two steps forward, five steps backwards in early recovery. You know, we're tripping all over ourselves, our emotions are out of whack, we're sort of not getting the hang of it, but we're putting all this effort into it, and we get discouraged. We get worn out, we get overwhelmed, and we feel that nothing is going well for us. Well, this is called recovery, from alcoholism fatigue and it's an actual thing it really is and what happens we may feel depressed believe it or not we may feel overwhelmed obviously we'll feel overwhelmed you may feel like isolating you may feel like giving up you may feel like you're how you feel hopeless because you're not getting the result you know the energy in is not giving you the the positive energy back all these negative feelings surround recovery fatigue so sometimes it's not just that you're re you feel like you're relapsing or you're not working the program. It's just that you're overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed with what's going on in your life and when it comes to your program. Okay? So don't give up. It's an actual thing. It really is. It happens to a lot of us. I know what happened to me. I was in service. I was helping people, like uh, sponsoring. I was being sponsored. I was in addiction counseling. I was in group counseling. I went to meetings. I was a GSR. You name it. My whole life was recovery, especially in early times. The first year, you know, 90 and 90. We could go on and on what people tell us to do. And a lot of us want to get better and we want to get better fast. But you need to do something about it. You need to talk about it. You need to talk to, if you have a sponsor in AA or you're talking to somebody in Smart Recovery or whatever program that you're involved with and you're feeling like that, it, you know, going to meetings or a struggle, talking to people in recovery is becoming a struggle or a downer. You need to tell somebody about that because that's what it is. You're getting overwhelmed with how much time recovery takes up in your life. You really are. Changing a meeting, going, you know, not go to the same meetings all the time, maybe go to a different meeting. Just to mix it up a little bit. Just go there and sit and talk about it. You know, don't, you don't have to talk about anything, just listen to the people. Maybe instead of going to meetings seven days a week, maybe you go to meetings four days a week. 
take a little time off. I was talking to a guy in a program just maybe a month ago, and he went to Zoom meetings every, every day for weeks, for months, for years. And he said, I got fed up with talking to the, listening to the same people over and over, and I just stopped going. That's how discouraged he got. And I said to him, just go to different meetings. Mix it up a little bit, make it a little more exciting. Recovery is exciting, but we get caught in this rut. Talk to different people. Maybe talk to somebody, instead of talking to somebody in recovery about recovery, maybe talk about cars to them or what you did that weekend, going camping or whatever you did. Talk about those kinds of things. Try to integrate stuff in your life that's not so recovery based, like a hobby, something you enjoy, something you like doing. Maybe watch a movie one night instead of going to a meeting. 90 and 90 is a lot for a lot of people, especially when they have that big life going on. You got family, you got work going on, all these other responsibilities. It becomes overwhelming. Okay, so balance, right? That's what I'm talking about here, balance. Recovery is my life. That's what I do for a living, is my recovery. Because without my recovery, I don't have anything. I really don't. But recovery is not my whole life. And after a while, you'll start feeling like that. I go to meetings, I help other people sponsor, I have a sponsor, I do service, I do all that stuff, but only in a smaller way than I did before because I have so much more in my life. But without recovery, I am nothing and I know that. But I also know sometimes I even get overwhelmed with the amount of recovery I'm doing in that, you know, maybe six, seven months. Sometimes I say to myself, man, it's too much, too much. Too much recovery talk, man. Too much about talking about the steps or talking about smart recovery. It's just too much. I need to shut down a little bit. Mix it up a little bit, but understand, understand you have the power to make your recovery more interesting. You have the power to make your recovery more balanced for yourself. But the worst thing you can do is get discouraged and feel bored and feel upset that this recovery business is not for me because I'm not getting the result that I'm putting in. Don't get like that because that leads to relapse and that may make you start isolating, a lot of negative self-talk and you just stop doing recovery. Don't stop. Whatever you're going through in your life, I don't care, good, bad or ugly, disease, death, job loss, doesn't matter. Continue to go to those meetings, continue in your sobriety because I'm going to tell you, there's nothing in your life that's happening to you right now, big or small, that a drink will make better. It won't. Believe me, I've tried it. I've tried it. I get fatigued. I go to meetings. I can hear the same people talking about the same stuff all the time. It drives me nuts. It really does sometimes. But I don't stop. I keep going. I just go to different meetings. I mix it up. I mix my life up. So there is a thing called recovering from alcoholism, fatigue, and it's basically recovery is a full-time job in the beginning, and all this recovery stuff takes a lot of time up in our lives, but don't keep it into yourself. Don't feel depressed or hopeless, or you're not getting it because you feel negative feelings when you go to meetings. You are getting it. If you're sober and you're doing that today, you are getting it. You are getting it. Sobriety is the goal. Sobriety is the goal. And that is what we're doing here on Alcohol Free Life Channel. That's what we're doing. We're talking about that. So if you're experiencing it, talk about it. Don't keep it in. That's the, that's the best thing you can do is talk about it. And other people will identify with you when it comes to this, guaranteed. It's not talked a lot about in recovery rooms because you know you talk to somebody in a recovery room about it, they say, oh, you know, you're gonna stop going to AA, you're gonna stop going to Smart Recovery, you're gonna stop going to that church group. They'll come at it may, maybe a little negative to you, but that's not what it's about. It's about finding balance. It's about finding the right mix for you in your recovery, because recovery will add to your life. It's not supposed to take away from your life. It's supposed to add to your life, and it will add to your life. Just remember, though, at sometimes in that journey of recovery, there's a pothole and it can be sometimes a little bumpy for a while, but it does get better and it'll always get better. And you can share 
what, what you experience in recovery. Also, <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. You get what I'm talking about. You can share your experience, strength, and hope when it comes to recovery fatigue, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. You can take a second, please subscribe. If you can take another second, hit that like button. You know that like button like that? Hit that one, okay? But do yourself a favor. Get to a meeting, hang around like-minded people, work your program, whatever one you're working, and just remember, you're worth sobriety. Sobriety, recovery is freedom. It equals freedom. God bless. See you next time. Ciao for now.